talking to people actually you know I you know I used to be much I'd say I've transformed myself again through, through different stages of the business and I used to be very much um, heads down looking at dashboards tweaking things coding things um, we didn't use slack before we used skype before but much more text-based but I think you know I, I found that you lose a lot of information if you don't talk to people all the time and just have genuine conversations what we call authentic conversations that disrupt with you uh, well, so that's an interesting question. I actually don't view myself as a serial entrepreneur. That's not my self-identity. I guess it's a fact of what I've done because I've started four different companies. I just want to be an entrepreneur. I want to build something and get it as big as it possibly can be. So if anything keeps me coming back, it's that, geez, I really think in Disruptor Beam that I'm going to be a lot bigger than anything I've done before. So it's about building something and, and making it have huge impact on the world. So, I mean, to me, there's painters that f express creativity through painting. There's writers that express creativity through writing. To me, being an entrepreneur is the creative endeavor of bringing a team together to harness innovation and build something really meaningful to the world. So to me, starting companies has been my creative expression. Um, but I don't actually want to be a serial entrepreneur. I could if I, if I needed to. Um, I feel like I have a few more companies left in me if that's, if that's the way things played out. But really, I'm just super focused on Disruptor Beam. I want to make this to be uh, you know, my life's work. I want to build a great company around it. You know, we've always played all our own games here. If you don't do that, it's really hard to make a product that's going to connect with the consumer and, and very easy, I think, to build something inauthentic that fans don't care about. So, I don't know, when I'm waking up in the morning, it's one of the first things I do. Like when I sit down with my green tea and I'm on the couch in the morning because I just woke up, I'm placing my, my March to War moves first thing. And there's a whole bunch of things I like to get got done before I move on to anything else and start reading and whatnot. And it's pretty frequently the last thing I do before I go to bed as well because there's a bunch of things I want to send my guys off to do some work for me overnight. A lot of the things are on timers or takes hours for certain things to happen. So you got to put your moves in before you go to bed. And if I wake up in the middle of the night, which does happen, so I'll wake up at 3 or 4 a.m., I'll look at my phone and I'll put a few more moves in, actually. <laughs> uh, just growth, you know, managing growth. I think we're seeing growth from Star Trek, and Star Trek is about to go through a second wave of growth because Star Trek Discovery is the new Star Trek series coming out from CBS. It's certainly their biggest investment in any TV show to date, and what we'll do for the game should be significant. So we'll keep seeing growth there, and then March, uh, March to War, our Walking Dead game, is an opportunity to just build out a whole new area of revenue for the company that should be a big step function. So to me, both products are super interesting. What we've got in the pipeline beyond that is super interesting, but it's really just that process of managing growth. So figuring out how to drive revenue to new levels and build the team around it that can keep propelling that growth to the next level. That's what's fun.